Hello and welcome. This video is going to give a quick demonstration of the Cobol GPS Android app. This is a tool for Android phones, tabs, whatever else you have Android on, that basically does exactly the same as the official Bad Elf app for iOS. Now, for reasons best known to themselves, Bad Elf don't provide an app to control their GPS units from Android at all. So if you have an Android device, you are effectively limited to using it as a dumb GPS source. You can't configure it, you can't adjust it, you can't download it, you can't clear space on it. You are pretty much stuck unless you also happen to have an iPhone with you. Now, I found that fairly limiting and I took the time to write an equivalent app for Android. So, enter the section of the video that I like to keep the let's keep my ass a lawyer free zone section. Bad Elf LLC do not provide the Cobalt app. They don't support it, they don't develop it, they don't approve of it, they don't endorse it. All they have done is given me permission to sell it. So if you do buy Cobalt and you do have problems with it, please do not contact Bad Elf LLC. It is not their problem. Okay, that section dealt with. So let's show you some of the features. What I've got here is the first page of the app. You can see that I've got two different GPS units attached to it. One is the Bad Elf Pro, the other is the Pro Plus, the 2300 model that is considerably more accurate than the 2200 model and has the barometer. That's the one I've got going and since I'm recording this in an office, the location on the GPS itself isn't going to change, but I can still run through everything else on the app. So, first thing I need to do is connect. Okay, and we're connected. That always goes so much more smoothly when you've got Bluetooth switched on. So, what we can see straight away is that it's picking up the information from the device itself. We've got the barometer here. It's saying it isn't calibrated, which is the standard thing when you switch on the 2300. It is showing all the other details in real time and it's showing the satellites at the bottom. We have the green satellites are GPS, the blue satellites are the Russian ones, and it is giving you the satellite numbers there as well for those who are interested. It's showing that the device logger is on, and we have the 65% battery level, 37% memory level, and we can... don't tap the screen you idiot, and we can go into a map. That's just zoomed in a little too far. There we go. Yep, that's showing just where we are. And you've got your latitude, longitude, altitude, all the rest at the bottom. This is the kind of stuff that you would get partially from any GPS receiver on Android. On the last tab here you can see the NMEA feed that's a special language that is sent out by GPS units as standard. Any GPS tool will interpret that and give you basic information like what we've already seen, the satellite information and the map coordinates. What any GPS app won't be able to do is tell the logger to stop, which I've just done. It certainly won't show you the battery and memory levels and, far more importantly, it won't allow you to configure these things. So you should be able to see from the device screen, which I'm also recording, that I'm beginning to change some of these things. Let's change the altitude to feet for meters, should you wish to do that. All of these settings are exactly the same as the settings that you get in the official Bad Elf provided app for the iPhone. They like savings time, time zones, auto on. Every single setting that you have in the Bad Elf app is mirrored here. 
you can change the recording type I'm going to cancel that Bluetooth settings security pin auto connection settings even the advanced stuff like passcodes filtering modes barometer units all that kind of stuff the USB export there is only relevant to the 2300 the Bad Elf GPS Pro Plus again it's the same settings that you would get on iOS and you can set the output format now one extra trick that Cobalt offers is that in the GPX files you can add both elevation sources you don't have to choose whether you have the GPS elevation or the barometric elevation you can have both and then choose between them as you like once you've got that file off onto your PC right the next one is the barometer calibration that's very useful if you're using the barometer on the 2300 it allows you to recalibrate it should you happen to be at sea level or you can get an external reading from somewhere and another little trick that Cobalt has that the Bad Elf app doesn't is that you can get the current pressure from a web service so it takes the last known location and it simply sends it off to the magic of the interweb and you get the expected forecast pressure at your location back and we're now done that's calibrated the last thing that I need to show you is quite possibly the most important this is the track log you can see all of the tracks that are still recorded on this device quite a number there because I've deliberately left them so I'm going to pick that one and I'm going to download it. You can download as many of these as you like at a time. Once they're downloaded they're not cleared from the device automatically they stay on there so if you want to leave those on there as a safety feature so that you can get them off later that's absolutely fine. But that track is now stored locally on this phone and by default it offers you the choice to send it somewhere so now that it's downloaded it I could put it on OneDrive email any of the standard Android file transfer methods. I'm not going to do that right now. If you chose to do that then that would be whichever file type you choose there and you can also have GPX, KML or CSV. Should I wish to delete any of these let's pick those two because I don't know I don't need those. I'm going to delete them. Really sure? Yes and they're gone and your device now has some more memory available for more recordings so let's come back here let's go to the map so at the top of the map there we can see that there's a drop down called current track only what that's doing is showing you all the details of where you are right now but let's pick a couple of tracks on there and if I zoom in you can see that the two tracks are on there, one's shown as green, one's shown as red and you can add as many tracks as the map will deal with. So you get to review all of your old stuff as well. So hopefully you can see that this does give you all of the functionality that the original Bad Elf for iOS app does with one exception which is firmware updates. It won't do firmware updates because they are controlled tightly by Bad Elf themselves of course the firmware update is embedded in their app and this simply has no way of getting them other than that though if you can do it on an iPhone you can now do it on Android as well it is known definitely to work with Bad Elf Pro and Bad Elf Pro Plus the firmware versions are listed on the front page of the app it's been tested with 2.0.92 on the Bad Elf Pro and 2.1.44 on the Bad Elf Pro Plus it should work on other versions of firmware as long as they're not too far in the past and it should work on future versions should Bad Elf release a firmware version that it doesn't work with I will do my level best to get it working but that is the nature of things that aren't provided by the manufacturer I hope you found this useful. I hope you can now see what Cobalt is able to do.
thanks for watching.